Hi, I'm Andy. Just wanted to show you a quick video of something I found with my GE control board. It's a side-by-side. -side. As I mentioned in previous videos, my refrigerator has a bad control board. And in videos to follow, I'll show you how to rebuild one of these control boards. But I got the relays off of this board and wanted to show you what I found. I always like to just do a, a quick bench test on the relays that I pull off just to confirm my theory as, as far as a failed relay or not a failed re relay. So there may be somebody who's interested in this out there. Um, I'm going to show you just a, a quick shot of what the relay looks like. This is one of the square relays that comes off, the smaller type. On here you can see there's the coil of uh, copper right there. That is the coil. Whenever it's energized, like an electromagnet, it pulls down on this uh, little contact. And so that's the clicking that you'll hear on a relay or on a board whenever you turn it on. It's that click that you're hearing. Now this particular relay has failed. I'm going to show you on the bench here what I'm talking about. So I've got two of them side by side and these are uh, what's called 12 volt relays. It means that it takes 12 volts DC to activate that coil that I just showed you. Now I've got two leads here. This is hooked up to a power supply that'll be feeding 12 volts DC. So you can see on my meter there that we've got 12 volts DC. So you can hear that click on that one. That's really what we're going after. That's a, that's a good relay. The other one, however, nothing almost nothing it's trying to close that that relay but can't so I did confirm that this does in fact have a bad relay on this control board Let's see if I can get you a good shot here of the relay in action So that's the good relay. And what happens is whenever this closes, this is the coil, these two pins, the black and red. Whenever the relay is closed, we'll have power go from this center common pin to this pin over here. What I'm going to attempt to show you is we'll have continuity between those pins when the relay is activated. So now my meter is showing 1.2.0 basically for continuity, or my resistance rather. And when that relay lets go, there's no longer continuity. And 1.3 is the resistance when it's uh, fully engaged. So this is a good relay. The other relay, obviously, that coil has failed. And that's why we're not getting continuity. That's why my fridge isn't working. Figured there might be at least one person out there who's interested in this. <laughs> Thanks for watching.